Good morning. It is a Tuesday morning. Sorry, I'm a little squinty. The sun is right there. <laughs> I uh, had a great evening yesterday. We set up a uh, plan for some competition and uh, some teams were set up and all that. And I was thinking to myself, uh, thinking back on some opportunities and some uh, occasions in the past where a lot of time and energy was spent on worrying. Uh, what do you worry about? What are you worried about today? I know sometimes it's easy to just worry about the things the world brings you and worry about bills and worry about, you know, what what the future holds and all that. However, think about certain things that you can't control, certain things that you can't change. The, the, the majority of, of world events we have no impact on, you know, in the, whatever situation we're in. Then think about what things you can control and, and compare that or utilize that in the formula that you um, that makes up your main worrying. You know, like what are you worried about? You can control what you do. You can control what you think. You can control the choices you make, whether they're big or small. Um, and I know sometimes I can't. I can't choose uh, I, to do that. I can't do this or the other well the truth of the matter is you can um, but how much are you willing to risk so we have to look at ourselves and say what can we control what can we do to change our situation if you're worried about your situation about your future prospects at your place of work or at your future prospects in your relationship or uh, whatever your health journey what can you control uh, if you're talking about your health, you can control what you eat. You can control how much exercise you do in any given day. You can control what kind of, uh, what your intake is. And the same thing goes for your mental health, right? You can control what kind of people are feeding the energy around you. If, if it's all negative energy being produced by the people around you, chances are you need to make a change, okay? You can control that. You can make that change. And do something about it. You want positivity in your life? Yeah, you want positive people around you. You want people that want the same thing as you or more. Because that way it'll expand your dreams. It'll expand your goals and change your mindset. One of the big things that we talked about yesterday was attitude. Having the right attitude, the right mental state to make sure you keep moving forward and design your future the way you want it to be designed and make it happen. The other thing I believe was activity. Activity on what you want and towards your goal. It says either either it's going to be activity or you're going to remain in captivity, basically. And uh, one of the third ones was, I um, uh, don't recall, but one of the last ones they said was self-improvement. You want to make sure that you improve your mindset. Learn from people that have already become more successful than you, no matter what it is. Whether it's on uh, on health, whether it's on uh, attitude, whether it's on public speaking, a skill that you want to learn, or uh, the industry that you're in. Learn from the people that have succeeded and, and become a better person. So you want to improve yourself and get that going. Again, it's all about things you can control to mitigate the worry, to mitigate the size of how much worrying you do. If you're spending too much time and too much energy worrying about things that are weighing on you, change the weight of those things. Make that choice to change them. Make that choice to move forward and move away from the negativity. In, get an influx of positivity in your life. Make those positive changes in your life. Let people know that you're making the change and become the person you're destined to be. It's a beautiful day. Let's make it a great one. We'll be talking.